Hello and welcome to Kmantar. In this video, we shall learn about reduction reactions involving lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride, also known as LAH, is a reducing agent. It is nucleophilic in nature. It does not easily reduce carbon-carbon double bond or carbon-carbon triple bond. In lithium aluminum hydride, we have four hydrogens which are used in reduction being transferred in a stepwise manner such that the hydride ion will be transferred to the more positive atom. As compared to sodium borohydride, lithium aluminum hydride is a powerful reducing agent. Now let's explain why lithium aluminum hydride is a better reducing agent as compared to sodium borohydride. Lithium aluminum hydride can reduce aldehyde, ketone, acid, ester and amide. But sodium borohydride can reduce only aldehyde and ketone. In order to understand why lithium aluminum hydride acts as a better reducing agent as compared to sodium borohydride, we have to consider two factors metal and hydride source. In lithium aluminum hydride, we have lithium metal and ALH4- as the hydride source. In sodium borohydride, we have sodium metal and BH4- as the hydride source. When we compare between the metals, lithium is more electropositive as compared to sodium, meaning it can act as a better Lewis acid. When we react lithium aluminum hydride with a carbonyl compound, first this carbonyl oxygen will donate a pair of electron to lithium. Lithium is accepting a pair of electron and hence it is uh, showing its uh, better Lewis acetyl character and, it's, uh, and is activating the carbonyl group. Activation means carbonyl group will be more reactive now. Hydrogen ion will attract this uh, more electron efficient carbon. Now when we compare the hydride source, in ALH4- we have aluminium, in BH4- we have boron. Now aluminium is less electronegative than boron, meaning in the bond between Al and H, the more electron density will be resided towards hydrogen. Thus ALH4- is a better hydride donor. These were the two reasons uh, which explained why lithium aluminum hydride is a better reducing agent as compared to sodium borohydride. Let's look at the substrate scope of reduction reaction using lithium aluminum hydride. If we take the substrate aldehyde, acid chloride, acid ester, then we'll get the product primary alcohol. Ketones can be converted to secondary alcohol, acidamide, alkyl nitrile, aliphatic nitro compounds can be converted to amine, aromatic nitro compound can be converted to ARNH, NH, AR, or AR, N, double bonded N, AR, ROTS, RX can be converted to RH, epoxide can be converted to primary alcohol. Let's understand the term chemoselectivity. Take a molecule, react with lithium aluminum hydride, and we get the product MeO CH2OH. Lithium aluminum hydride could reduce both the functional groups carbon carbon double bond and aldehyde group but it selectively reduced only the aldehyde group into alcoholic group. So chemoselectivity means it is the selective reduction or selective reactivity of one functional group in the presence of other functional group. We may have pH CHO. Now if you treat with lithium aluminum hydride at room temperature, the product obtained is pH CH2OH. Why we are getting both the functional groups reduced to the second example? 
but in the first example only one selectively reduced to alcoholic group in order to explain these observations we have to take the help of inductive effect there is a presence of electron donating group it exerts plus i effect and there is a presence of minus i group so it shows um, electron withdrawing nature and this uh, this carbon becomes more electron rich this becomes more electron deficient so this double bond is electron rich double bond this double bond is electron deficient double bond reaction with lithium aluminum hydride is nothing but the nucleophilic reaction where hydride comes and attack the electron deficient carbon in this case it is not possible because this double bond is already electron rich in this case the hydride readily attacks this uh, carbon because of presence of electron deficiency here and double bond gets reduced to single bond now let's see the effect of temperature on the reactivity of lithium aluminum hydride at lower temperature reactivity decreases and at high temperature reactivity increases when this unsymmetrical epoxide is treated with lithium aluminum hydride at low temperature this product is formed and at high temperature this product is formed at low temperature less hindered opening of epoxide takes place and at high temperature more hindered opening of epoxide takes place less hindered opening means the hydride ion will attack the carbon which is less sterically hindered and hence the ring will be opened so it is possible in case of low temperature but in case of high temperature the hydride anion attacks the more sterically hindered carbon and ring opening takes place giving this product when this molecule is treated with lithium aluminum hydride at room temperature we get this product and at minus 10 degree celsius we get this product in the first case it is evident that lithium aluminum hydride was able to reduce both the aldehyde group and the carbon carbon double bond in the second case it reduced only the aldehyde group but the carbon carbon double bond remained as such it is due to the difference in the temperature used in the first case we have used room temperature that uh, ranges from 20 to 30 degrees celsius and in the second case we are using minus 10 degrees celsius which is very small temperature as we already studied that reduction by lithium aluminum hydride depends upon temperature more the temperature used more will be its reactivity and hence in the second case it fails to reduce the carbon carbon double bond though there is a presence of phenyl group which exerts minus i effect let's take this case when this is treated with lithium aluminum hydride we get this product in this case also we have seen that carbon carbon double bond remain as such it has not been reduced only the aldehyde group has been reduced to alcoholic group in this case phenyl uh, group cannot exert minus i effect strongly enough to make it electron deficient it is because it is far from the carbon carbon double bond rather this group exerts plus i effect making this carbon electron rich and hydride does not attack this electron deficient electron rich carbon and hence carbon carbon double bond remains unreactive towards lithium aluminum hydride so in this case we have seen that at low temperature alkene is not reduced and here we have seen that the withdrawing effect of phenyl group is not effective since it is far from the carbon carbon double bond solve some problem involving lithium aluminum hydride in the first example we have ketonic group and ester group lithium aluminum hydride will be reducing both the groups present here so the final product will be OH OH and in the second example we have carbon carbon double bond and we have ketonic group lithium aluminum hydride will be reducing only the ketonic group and not the
carbon carbon double bond it is because this carbon carbon double bond is electron rich because of presence of this electron donating group and hence hydride will not attack this carbon in the third example we have to treat this carboxylic acid with lithium aluminum hydride in thf followed by heating thf stands for tetrahydrofuran the structure is this it acts as a solvent so carboxylic acid upon reaction with lithium aluminum hydride gives primary alcohol this molecule is treated with lithium aluminum hydride at 20 degrees celsius in dithyl ether solvent we will get the product this is cyclic amide cyclic amide is converted to when internal alkyne is treated with lithium aluminum hydride we get E alkene. Internal alkyne means the carbon carbon triple bond will be inside the molecule. They are not present on the terminal carbons. E alkene means they are trans alkene. How to remember? Remember cis equals to gis. So cis is Z form. Similarly, E will be trans. Now, when this internal alkyne is treated with lithium aluminum hydride, we get trans alkene. So everything will remain same. Only this part will be trans. One hydrogen here, one is here. So they are trans. This triple bond will be reduced to carbon-carbon double bond in trans fashion. Similarly, when this molecule is treated with lithium aluminum hydride, this carbon-carbon triple bond will be converted into a alkene that is E alkene. So everything will remain the same. In the video description below, you will find one link for the test on lithium aluminum hydride reductions. Please solve all the questions. All the best.